For apple cider vinegar, you want to have uh, organic, which this one is. It's also raw. And uh, what's really important as well is that it has the mother in it. Um, it's not made from an animal. This is vegan. The mother is a naturally occurring substance. Uh, it's very high in enzymes. Uh, so this one, just by seeing that it has mother in it, you know that there's loads more nutrients. Apple cider vinegar itself is basically apple cider that is fermented twice. So the first time you ferment it, you get hard cider. You ferment it again, you get the vinegar. So I looked up a recipe for apple core vinegar, and I've actually been doing this one here for about two weeks, I think. I already took out the apples, um, and that's what it looks like. Now, I actually used honey. In the recipe, it calls for a particular type of sugar, a uh, rep Raptura, I'm probably saying that wrong, sugar, which would make it darker, and it said you can use honey instead, so I used honey because I didn't have that particular sugar. I don't have a cheesecloth, so I'm kind of making a makeshift cloth over. This is a paper towel, and I have a rubber band around it, as you can see, um, to help it ferment, and it sits kind of in a dark place in my kitchen, um, away from everything, and it's still pretty warm in the kitchen because it's still um, just the beginning of fall. This is actually what you're seeing apple core wise. I would say this is about nine pounds of apples because I'm making apple butter right now. And I used, um, it's the, the formula is one quart of warm water to a quarter cup of this particular sugar or honey. So this is what it looks like. And I poured it over and you can see how it's covered. You want the apple cores to be covered. And you let this sit for about five days. Now with it being honey, I let it sit longer because I was told that honey takes longer. Sometimes I do like seven to ten days, I look at it, and then I um, discard the, com the, the cores into compost. Okay, so let's go through the benefits. Uh, there are numerous benefits. We're just going to limit it to five. Uh, the first one is that it helps to alkalize the body. Uh, why is this important? Um, anything that produces acid or if your body is in a acidic state, that's where disease forms. So cancer, as an example, forms in very acidic states in the body. Uh, anything to alkalize your body helps to remove your body of uh, disease and toxins. Cider vinegar is great at removing lactic acid from your body, so if you wanted to, you could actually add it to uh, your post-workout smoothie or juice. It's also a natural energy booster because of all of the nutrients and enzymes. Uh, that's why we recommend drinking it first thing in the morning. It's a great pick-me-up and it uh, helps sustain that energy through the day. So it's also good at helping to alleviate allergies. The apple cider vinegar is great at clearing your sinuses and clearing your throat. Um, so for that reason alone, it's uh, great to drink it like this first thing in the morning. Because of all of the nutrients, there's a lot of uh, microflora and good bacteria that you're putting into your system. So because of that, it helps to kill bacteria and fungus and yeast and candida and all of that sort of nasty stuff so that's uh, a great uh, another great reason to drink. Something that could be a concern with drinking the apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning would be uh, if you have uh, sensitive teeth. Some people are concerned about their tooth enamel being worn away by the uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, Marta drinks hers in the morning with a straw and that is uh, one way that you can uh, eliminate that concern. We have come across probably about a hundred different uses for apple cider vinegar. Anything from uh, cleansing your face to cleaning your kitchen counters, your toilets, your sinks. Uh, there are so many things that you can do with this wonderful product, so feedback question, what do you use apple cider vinegar for?